You're probably like, what the fuck is this? This is Mace. Hola. Y bienvenido a Styling Your Lipstick. El pita labio que tengo puesto para este video is by Jason Wu and it's called Biscotti. What's in? My Dior Mantagna 30. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but it's Mantagna, Mantegna, Mantagna. <laughs> when I look at people's videos about what's in their bag, <laughs> Some of them make me laugh. Some of them are so thoughtful. Some people, I mean, it tells you a lot about people. Like they're so detailed, they're so organized. And there's people that's probably like me, you just throw things in your bag. But <laughs> I figured I'd take you across what a New York City girl throws in her bag. A specific look Let's get into it, bitches. Okay, so this is my Dior Montagna 30 bag. Let's just hope I'm saying that right. And if not, let's pretend. <laughs> but this is my gorgeous baby. I have her in this beautiful forest green number. I did a whole unboxing on her, debuted her beautiful fabulosity. I will link it up above or down below in my description box. So take a peek there because everything is always listed there down to what I'm wearing, what I'm drinking, what I'm eating, what razor I used. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> First, we have the infamous mask. To be honest with you, I don't wear it in any of the places that I go into anymore, but I, it's always like the one or two person or people or businesses that I encounter that still require masks. So of course I bring it just in case. I always bring whatever makeup I'm wearing for the day, but not everything. So for today, I'm wearing eyeliner. So the one that I will be bringing with me is this one by Lancome and it's called 05 Sane Sparkles Glitter and it's this gorgeous like slate gray blue type of color whatever eyeliner i'm wearing for that day is the one that will be in my bag same goes for lipstick so as you already know by the intro of this video what i'm wearing is jason Wu biscotti so that would be the one that would be on my purse for today but i never leave home without my eyeliner or my lipstick boring keys i hate this city by what do you call this tag emblem i don't know but this little thing I don't like how it looks, but I have to keep it there because of course I do use a bike in the city a lot. I also have these heels here that I purchased, of course a heel, right? <laughs> that I got by uh, Kate Spade, so just to kind of jazz up my keys, but it's very unimpressive to be honest with you. I mean keys I don't really give thought. Go in the bag and I'm good to go. You're probably like, what the fuck is this? This is mace. You are not going to be a New York City girl and not roll around with mace. I am here talking about it in a funny mode, but I don't actually find it funny because it's kind of sad that I feel like I have to roll around the city with a mace or something because that's the times we're living in. I mean, no matter where you live, of course, there's always danger lurking around the corner, but I feel like within the last two years specifically, it has gotten considerably worse here in the city. I mean, I don't watch the news straight up. I do not watch the news. But my mom and, and it's just like all over the place somehow it gets back to me and there's always something happening in the trains there's uh, people killing homeless people there's random people throwing people over the platforms pushing them over the platform stabbing them in the trains and it's just out of control to the point where i don't even want to go out to be honest with you i'm just hoping that i never have to use it but i always carry it with me because you never know next thing i have is also a <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'm laughing because you might think I'm extreme, but you know, it is extreme. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> but I don't know. I, I kind of feel safer, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm very troubled by it because I don't want to roll around with these things because it's just a constant reminder of where I'm living and how the streets are. But um, I always carry this with me. It's a small knife. It doesn't require a lot of effort for me to bring it with me and I just hope I never have to use it. This is just how we're living now. I love the little sampler type of perfumes because those are the ones that I throw in every bag that I have. I actually have one in every bag because like I don't have to deal with it when I'm in a rush or something. I just grab a bag. I don't have to start from scratch and start putting everything that I need for that day in the bag. So I always leave one in there and then this one because it's a Christian Dior bag, of course, I have to go a little designer and just stay with the theme, right? <laughs> so this one is called, it's a Louis Vuitton perfume and it's called Le Jour Se Lève. 
can you come out of there? Oh my lands, I can't get this out of here. I don't think it smells the best to be honest with you, but when I'm rolling around in the streets, moving around from A to B to C, it's not the best, but I'm not. When it comes to samples, I'm not about being super picky as long as that I, I somehow utilize it anywhere. I throw them in my bags if I'm working and things like that. And it just gives me a, a little nice booster up. Because I have them, so I'm just going to use them up. I always keep a balm with me because sometimes my lips are so chapped. Especially if it's winter and I've been out all day and I've been like filming or I've had auditions or I'm working. This is one of my favorite ones. This is by Sugar. And it's their SPF 15 with sunscreen. I love this one. And this also comes in different like scents. I've gotten all of them at one point or another. I love them all. And I always bring a lip liner with me. This one is my color pop. I try not to spend a lot of money on lip pencils. I use them every day because I love to just outline my lips and give it structure. This one is called Beeper. And this is just the one that I happen to have on today. Of course, you're not going to go out in the city without your credit card. So of course that is the one thing that I will keep here and put it on the back pocket. I don't normally like to leave it where it's easy access but because this part of the bag is really durable and it's really hard and it requires effort for you to get into it, I feel pretty safe leaving it there to pull it out. And I almost forgot to add in the pen. Don't ever leave home without a pen. You know how many times I've been caught out there without a pen and I have to ask people for pen because for some reason, out of the blue, out of nowhere, I have to write something down. And as an actor for auditions, I always need a pen, preferably a pencil, but it doesn't matter, I don't really care. At the end of the day, I still use a pen. So I have a pen in pretty much every picking bag. Also, it doubles up as a weapon. But that's pretty much what I have in my bag. I don't feel like that was anything revolutionary. <laughs> But my little bag is because she's a beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 